This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Brawl Bash. This week we're playing a Bolus Brawl deck. So that means we're going to be punching and brawling with Nico Bolus, the Dragon God. Uh, I, I feel like outside of Oko, this has to be one of the better... Uh, like brawl commanders you could have just because of how powerful it is and being able to constantly just play it chew away at our opponent's board state or hand or whatever after a certain point once they run out of answers and being able to pick off any other planeswalker or creature is very relevant of course you know this is assuming that you have a way to keep the board clear because if you ever are able to like pick off a planeswalker still have bolus on board untap with it plus then it just really starts going into a downward spiral for the opponents. Now, before I get started on the video this week, I do want to remind you that yes, I am playing Fires of Invention with counter spells. But if it makes you feel better, I'm not loaded up on a bajillion counter spells. I feel like we just need them for the situations to like in some of the like the the Golos matchups, I feel like they're needed. And like that that's what helped me beat Golos, which is like a few counter spells here and there, maybe Oko. But for the most part, yeah, like don't play – you have to know when to play Fires of Invention. It's as simple as that. Like it's not as simple as jam it on four and, and, and like without thinking about it because maybe your hand is really good but it requires you to like delay the Fires of Invention. Fires of Invention, the reason why it's great is because after a certain point, uh, point in time, Bolas will die enough times to where he will cost a ridiculous amount. And with Fires of Invention, we only need to pay the tax of Bolas. So let's say Bolas dies once, we have Fires of Invention out, we only have to pay two. And then just so on and on and on. So without holding up any longer, let's see how Bolas does in the Brawl queue. Okay, so we'll start this league off. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Now I want to keep Lotus Field. I, I That was mostly for mana fixing, but I don't know if I need to keep it anymore in my deck. But all right, we'll try it. All right, sorry about that. Had to sneeze. <laughs> Wait, still had to sneeze. <clears throat> Silly allergies. All right, um, let's go ahead and just play Swamp. Pass back to the opponent. To be honest with you, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for right now. Like, I mean, I guess I'll kill it. I'll kill the Rimrock just because. Wow. Well, we drew exactly what we needed. <laughs> sure. All right, cool. I've accelerated. <laughs> All right, opponents casted Chandra Spitfire here. Huh. I guess we could just play Nico Bolas, huh? That seems pretty good. I'm not really even sure if I need to actually play Bolas, but I I don't know why I shocked there. I just realized that. Will bend to my will. Sure, we'll just go ahead and kill this. Kill the Chandra Spitfire. Pass back to the opponent. If they make us pay another mana, that's fine. Because like, essentially, if they if they spend removal on Nico Bolas, all we have to do is just play and uh, pay two more mana. All right, Mask of Immolation. That's a good one. Well played, well played, opponent. I don't believe you'll let me untap with Nico Bolas, so that's fine. Uh, put in the command zone, believe it or not. Yes. Yes, please. Oh, perfect. I mean, I'm just going to play this again anyways. <clears throat> and then we should be good. Now we just plus. They start exiling away. Lotus Field Ramp, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that Lava Coil seems irrelevant in this matchup. Now, if I get to untap and spark double, this game is about to spiral out of control. It's already kind of a pickle for the opponent, but even more so now than ever. Cool, so we're gonna go ahead and just like play Nico Bolas, or I mean, uh, plus Nico Bolas, play Chandra, and then uptick Chandra. This makes it so that we'll be able to go and just minus Chandra if we want to. That's awesome, that's awesome. Yeah, you know what? I'm not a fan of that that Legion War boss sticking around. That seems pretty scary. 
Let's get another black source in here. Sure. So now we'll go ahead and minus Chandra. And then they can go ahead and sacrifice the war boss to ping down Chandra. That's cool. But then I'm going to uptick Bolas here. Wow, what a, what a good draw on that tail's end. I was willing to just sacrifice two lands. And I'm just going to plus two Nico Bolas to keep uh, Bolas's loyalty high. And so now Bolas has got a plus two. Chandra, okay, nice, nice. Well, that's a good call on our part because now they can't actually just kill Bolas. Yeah, they, I think you have to attack Chandra here if you're the opponent, but I'm about to windmill slam this spark double. Whoa! All right! See what they exile? Probably the mask or something. Art fire, sure. I think they're about to concede though right now. Because I'm going to go ahead and copy Bolas. And now we're going to just draw more cards. I like it. I like it. And now this should give the opponent the option to go ahead and just... Look at that. Look at that Bolas emblem. The inevitable clock here. We've got double Bolas coming down pretty soon here. Okay, cool. Oh. No, I'm going to let that resolve. Because I still want to be able to, like, I want to kill this Skargan Hellkite. Because either one of my Boluses or Chandra can just kill uh, to Toblerone. Alright. There goes the Skargan. Alright, and that's the GG's from the opponent. Uh, his hand's a little slow for Mulligan. We get a free Mulligan. Hopefully we draw a blue source. That's as good as it's going to get for me. I'm going to keep this. We'll just have to naturally draw into our mana here. All right, play a Blood Crypt Pass. Come on, give me a blue source game. Come on, here we go. Here comes the blue source. Nope, blue source sometime soon. In the near future, like next turn. That'd be great. I don't, it doesn't even have to be untapped. I'll, I'll accept that. Please give me a blue source. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and start scrying here. Or surveilling. Alright, so Golos. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, all of this is fine. They do have the ability to go blue-white next turn. Create another body on board. If they play Golos, we can counter that next turn. Or the turn after. So yeah, let's get rid of that. Whatever. I, I At this point, yeah, this, this card isn't going to do anything. <laughs> this card's not going to do anything. I need my mana sources more than anything else. Sure. So they're gonna go dig for their land now to get to land number five. Hopefully, I could just ionize them, but so they are need either a white source or a black source or something. Another blue source, beautiful. Okay. Let's see what they play here. It's okay. They found it. Ionize. I gotta keep them off that Golos nonsense. Now I'm just going to go ahead and play Nico Bolas, fully knowing that they now have to spend their mana to mortify this, or else they, they lose. Whoa! Did they just choose to ignore, uh, like, they got rid of mortify? That blows up fires, though. Ah, uh, maybe they don't care. Maybe they have something else. Like, casualties of war can pick off all of this and a land. There's a lot they could still do here. Alright, sure. Command zone. interesting so that's their white source right there okay cool so now we have something to counter them well this is great I mean since they got rid of uh, of their mortify we could just play we only pay for the tax and that's it that's how fires of invention works with the commander so seems pretty strong in my opinion 
This isn't great because we don't really have anything to do with it, so. You know what? Let's just go ahead and put that here too. My prowess is unmatched by my Alright, so at some point they're like the the counter spells are kind of bad with Fire's Invention. I get that, but. Alright, so there's casualties of war. They drew a lot off of that, by the way. They got one of everything, pretty much. So now they can blow up the land, which is pretty good against us. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move this down. Because we're going to lose a land. We're going to lose a land. So we will need this. I'm not going to give them an artifact to just get for free. Let's see, let's see. They have Teferi. Alright. Here's what we'll do. We'll just play like this. Give them the option to exile something else of theirs. So they got rid of Enter the God Eternal. Seems reasonable. Go ahead and get rid of all of that. Now the question is, which Planeswalker will they blow up? So if I minus, they can kill it. They can do that. Let's just make them sacrifice a creature. Alright, cool. So they don't have anything really that good to get back with Soren yet. They have Elite Guard Mage, but that requires them just to completely kill off Soren. So Casualties of War will probably pick off my Castle Vantress, my Fires, and my Nico Bolas. Yep, you got it. Man zone, please. I will return one day. All right, perfect. Hone your prowess. Let's see if I can get a land. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good land. I'll get rid of like two black sources this way, or I can go. Oh no, I can grab two things here. I can grab that and Lotus Field. Lotus Field's protected. There we go. Cool. Pass back. So now we have Lotus Field. Should be relatively decent. So we can negate, which will require us to do this. They know I have it, so I'll use it. So no Teferi for them. They play Soren. That's fine. Soren goes up. Soren kills my my Narset, probably. Great. I almost don't feel like Soren's really worth it uh, with Agent of Treasure. I feel like there's got to be something better. Like, in their five-color deck, I have to believe that there's something better than Soren. But, I also could just steal it. Let me see here. What is the best thing I can get right now? So that's three. I could steal Soren. I could steal multiple things, actually. Uh, And, like, what? They get back Golos. That's a bit of a problem. But I just steal whatever they try to play. I do that, they go Oath of Kaya. Yeah, same thing. I'm gonna just do this now. Whatever. Send that upstairs. Pass to the opponent. Alright, opponent. Well, I know you can't blow up my Lotus Field with your Bedeck Bedazzle, so I'm currently safe because my land has Hexproof. And if they tap out here to play their commander, I'll probably just steal it. Oh, that's a bad idea. You do not want to do that, because now I get to steal it, or play it again. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes more sense. That makes much more sense. I was going to say, because like if not, I just get to steal it again, and it becomes a huge problem. Sure. Alright, Feel the Dead. I'll have to play Ugin. Hopefully, oh yeah! That's what you like to see. Deliver unto evil. That's exactly what I want to see. Yes, you get a zombie. I'm just going to counter that. Alright, thank you. So that now costs them even more mana. Sure, Ugin is going to eat two here. They swing in with a zombie, I block. Because I get to draw a card with it. Alright, I think I can get one more land with this. Doesn't matter what color, I just need to get one. This way I have at least blue mana up. Please, deck, don't, don't do that.
Nope, don't use my red source. Or my blue source. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and play. Ooh, there we go. Midnight clock is what I want. Death Sprout's leaving. All right, cool. My schemes are never ending. Three, six, nine, cool. So now it should cost them too much mana. It'll be quite some time till they can play it again. Nice! And we got there. 2 and 0. Uh, I'll keep this, sure. It seems decent. Alright, we're up against Tulsimir, so it looks like we're getting a bunch of wolves thrown at us, which I'm a fan of. I'm just happy it's not like an Oko or Golos deck or something like that. Pass to the opponent. Ugh. Yucky. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and kill that now. I should have killed this on my turn, but who knows. Alright, pass back to them. Not too concerned about the Twin Blade. 25 or more life. I'm not gonna play fires because we have counter magic. I'm also not gonna. I'm just gonna take this. I think. Double strike. I take six. I'm down to ten. Or I mean twenty. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Here you go. So I am going to try to kill this Twin Blade Paladin. Alright, pass back to the opponent. Got rid of that. That costs two more. Now I can play Nico Bolas. Nico Bolas will then go ahead and... Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. They probably have Questing Beast or something like that, but I need to make sure that I, I just keep the board clear for now. Okay, Tristani, that's fine. If I draw a land here, that'll be pretty good. I did not. Womp womp. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, let's try this. Okay, cool. So I did draw it. Perfect. Six, seven. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just go ahead and minus here. Anyone who stands in my way, everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. So the tokens are off the board. Ferocious pup is adorable. That's what. But uh, yeah, those. Okay, and looks like we won that one. Oh wow. Uh. Uh, I do like the, it's Nikia of the old ways. That's such a cool deck. I'm gonna have the mulligan though. Well, we get a freebie, so I'll definitely keep this. All right. They got the goose. Aw, oh, darn. All right, so we need to be careful because Nikia is gonna just really double their mana up here. Hopefully, they don't have something like Domri. Wow! All about business here from the opponent. Okay. Sure. I can't really cast anything right now because I know if I do, I'm going to get dumped. It's a problem. But I am going to counter it. I can't let them draw cards. Move that card to the bottom. I I'll be fetching anyways. This should pretty much force the opponent. Actually, let's do it this way. Ravager Worm, Leyline of Abundance. They have one, two, three, four. They have five mana. They have all the mana they need. Probably gonna get rid of Cavalier here. All right, pass to the opponent. Their turn. So it depends what they want to play here, right? Okay, so they chose to play Leyline of Abundance. So that's two, four. Yep. Yep. 
How do I get out of this spot? Because they're probably not going to play either of the Hasters until I play my Planeswalker, right? That's fine. Sure. If they target my Fabled Passage, I just sack it. Sure. Does it have Trample? It only has its haste and it has the ability to riot. Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and grab this land now because all of our land will be tapped. Well, well, well. I can only kill one thing. If I play Bolus, Bolus won't do much. If I play anything else, he still won't do much. Next turn is three, five, seven, nine mana, so they can pump everything. They never have to commit more than what they've got right now. So I should look into killing some of this stuff. Sure. I'm actually going to make a token here. Because I can block. These can't attack me yet. They have to tap down their team to deal the damage. And then, of course, Scargan can swing in, but that requires them to commit the Scargan to the board. Which means there's a situation here where I could potentially sweep the whole board. It requires me to have one more land. Where I get to kill one of the creatures. Yep. 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 Just take the damage. It's cool. One more land. Come on. That is untapped, of course. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's try this. In exchange for eternal servitude. Uh, I can make another token. I can kill off. Just, I'm gonna just kill off Scargan. Or try to kill off Scargan. I, I am Death's master. Alright, now we pass. Hopefully we can just blow up Nikia with... Next turn, we do have the mana to do it. No blocks? I don't know, I mean, should they pump it, I guess? Interesting. Let's see what we have on top here. That I want. I also want that. Come on, let's get there. Hoda can definitely blow up one of our, our planeswalkers, but I'm not gonna play a second six drop planeswalker because if I do, that gives the opponent the ability to get blast zone to get more value, which we don't really need. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How much does it cost? This costs eight to pump the team. Okay, let's go to combat. Oh, perfect, they blocked. All right, this is perfect, this is perfect. Because now I can just go ahead and play Massacre Girl. If they try to pump the whole team, I still have something I can do. I can also just counter that activation. Oh, I still should counter that activation. Actually, no. No, no. Why would I counter that? I'd counter what they try to blow up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Ignore that. Ignore that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. You'll love to see it. And I gain one? Perfect. Alright. So when they try to blow up that blast zone, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to, to stifle that. The tail's end. And that, I guarantee you, will get a, dis a concession from the opponent. <laughs> that will most likely, if that doesn't, yeah, there you go. Called it. I will. Should I keep this? Uh, it's not bad. I'll try it. I like it. We have a clock. We have, you know, Tyrant score and Drown in the Lock. I mean, obviously, Drown in the Lock's not great early game, but. All right, that's fine. Oh, perfect. All right. We got something cooking now. All right. Sure, 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 sure. Now we play this Midnight Clock. 
pass it back to the opponent. Yes, all of our stuff costs more on their turn, but I think we can live with that. Uh, I don't know if we have Cry the Carnarium, so we're going to need to find that pretty soon. Oh, are they going to Conclave Tribunal this? Oh, all right, cool. No, that's fine. Cool. Cool, cool. Land, you beautiful, beautiful deck. Thank you. You know I wanted that. I can play Nicholas Bolas right now. But I also get blown out by doing that. So, I'm going to pass. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to use Tyrant Scorn to maybe blow up the Tithe Taker. Maybe? We'll see. Eh, you got it. I'll take three. And now we kill the Priest of the Forgotten Gods. That should give us a little bit of, like, wiggle room here. They could choose to remove their Priest or something. That's fine. Alright, deck, please. Land? No! No land this time. Okay. Um. That's two mana right there, so we can kill that. Both these creatures have an afterlife trigger. Alright, sure. Pass back to the opponent. I'm not gonna tap out because if I tap out, they'll have the ability to play Tesa. I need to blow up. I need to counter Tesa. I can take two for a little bit. That's fine. I also could just kill whatever I need to do, but like I feel like most of their decks should be counterable by Drown in the Lock. Oh no. No, no, no. Never mind. We're countering that. You got me. I am going to counter that. Okay. All right, I'm not drawing anything, so I'm going to just go ahead and plus. Wish I had that negate a little bit earlier. I don't know how good it is after this. Because I feel like they're about to do something like super backbreaking. <laughs> ah, well, you know what? The flavor of a prison realm eating my Nico Bolas, though. That's pretty good. Can't complain about that one. That's pretty good. Oh, that's really good against the opponent. Yeah, you know what? I'll just play uh, the friendly neighborhood murderous writer. Yep, 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 yep. Take the damage. You got it. Now we race. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's a problem. That card, that card right there. Actually, do I even want to put... No, I don't. I don't. Not yet. Not yet. Perfect. Uh, never mind. Not as perfect as I thought. Let me see. If I attack, they block with the Seraph. That's fine. Yeah, okay. At least we gain some life out of it. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. Okay. So I gain my life and I get to kill everything here. That's good news. I won't lie to you there, YouTube. That's good news. That's great news. Oh, yeah. Crisscross. Kills all the creatures. There you go. There you go. Get rid of all of those two. Perfection. And now pass it back to the opponent. Clean board. Masker girl. Just doing whatever she wants. I love it. All right. They're looking at our lands. They're probably counting, so three, six, seven. I mean, next turn we are... Oh, no! That's pretty good, actually. When I say actually, I'm not surprised at all. That's just a sweet card to have. Well, well, well. <laughs> drew, bat drew the Drown in the Lock again. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I'll keep the Devil on top. You never know. I'm going to leave this back as a way to block, even though they could potentially make me sacrifice with Priest of the Forgotten Gods. But, I know I can just go ahead and counter whatever creature or planeswalker they play. I like the versatility of this, so, yep, still want that on top. The versatility of Drying the Lock hits almost everything, which is pretty important. Three, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Your will make I will not be sacrificing 
Good help is easy to find in war. Yep, yep, there you go. Take four. Alright, we'll attack here. I will not be sacrificing my stuff just to get rid of two power. But it will now have to blood for bones. Yep. Nice! And we got there. Clean 5-0. and oh. Alright. Well, that was a complete blast. I mean, I'm not surprised that we got a 5-0. and oh. Our deck is very powerful. Being able to, like, hold up counter magic at certain points. Also being able to just play a bunch of, like, bombs over and over between Planeswalkers and, and like, our, our main like commander is Nico Bowles, which is, like, the Planeswalker if you can get to that point. Uh, like, like, luckily, we do, I didn't get paired against many Golos decks, but normally when I do, the matchup just usually goes with me trying to steal their Feel of the Dead or something like that, and then holding up a counterspell to shut down their Agent of Treachery to make sure that they don't steal the Feel of the Dead back. <laughs> and, uh, of course, just constantly blowing up Golos before they get too crazy with it. But, uh, good news is that our deck, if we can get on the ground early enough before they start going, like, rampant, if you would, and, like, accelerate way past our mana, we should be okay. Oko's a little more of a problem because Oko comes down early, requires us to have, like, you know, it comes down earlier than Bolus by, like, maybe two to three turns. Oko coming down on three is very backbreaking um, so far in this format. But I feel like that could almost be said for standard, but I actually think Nissa. Is more scary but anyways so this this whole thing is has been fun uh just playing nico bolus uh just just being able to jam planeswalkers removing things tails end has been great i did like that one turn though youtube you saw where i got to counter a blast zone so without holding up any longer thank you so much for watching another episode of brawl bash as always you know it's great that you know arena has more formats than just standard uh hopefully more and more things can come to it uh that isn't just standard like i'd love to someday see pioneer and etc etc or brawl more often uh so other than that you know we'll see what happens and of course it's a blast let me know what you enjoyed playing in the brawl queues and as always thanks for watching and if you enjoy the content we make here at mtg goldfish feel free to leave a like and a sub Hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up. Other than that, it's yours truly, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger, signing out. I'll see you at the next one. Thanks episode. for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.